Imagine an invisible army that never stops working in the background to wreak havoc. They all work perfectly in unison under the command of one criminal mastermind who's completely remote from the entire situation. Their goals could be one of many things, infiltrating networks, launching DDoS attacks, sending spam emails, and stealing any data they can get their hands on. The only way to stop them is cutting it off at the knees. I'm describing a botnet, a network of computers infected with malware, ready to be controlled by a hacker or group from a remote command and control center. And the FBI has confirmed they've taken the CACBOT botnet offline. I'm announcing today an FBI-led worldwide operation that crippled one of the longest running botnets ever seen. They say there was around 700,000 infected computers around the world, including 200,000 here in the US, and claim the hackers behind it recently carried out a ransomware attack on a US publishing company, as well as attacks on critical infrastructure and extracting gigabytes of health data from a healthcare entity here in the US and later releasing it on the dark web. That's an easy way to get you on the FBI radar. The CACBOT malware infiltrated computers primarily via spam emails with malicious attachments or links. And once a user interacted with the malicious contents, not only did more malware often get dropped onto the system, like ransomware, but it also became a cog in the vast machine of the botnet, operable remotely without the user's knowledge. The FBI director states that CACBOT has facilitated cybercrimes leading to hundreds of millions of dollars in losses globally, as well as enabling notorious ransomware groups like Conti and Prolock to cause significant financial harm to businesses. So how did the FBI take them down? Well, by infiltrating, legally of course, a number of servers used by the botnet and redirecting the traffic to FBI servers containing a CACBOT uninstaller. This uninstaller untethers the infected computers from the botnet and prevents the installation of any additional malware by cutting it off at the knees. 